continuing with the ECHOS and GIS investigation part two. When we left off the last video recording, uh, this layer was being created uh, from the analysis uh, joining the table, Canada outlined with analysis. Just have a look at it and you can look at the table here and see that indeed we have now added in those columns of data that came from that Excel spreadsheet in CSV format, population, the asthma, and the emissions data. So that now can be mapped. I want to show one little subtlety about the mapping that you are going to be asked to do. If we do the change style here, thing here that we've seen before, we're going to map emissions. And I'm going to choose the counts and amounts color. Now, what you see here is the data for the uh, all the provinces and territories, but it's the total amount of emissions. It should not surprise you that the most heavily populated provinces and territories here have the most, the highest emissions levels. But it might be of interest to you to know what that is per capita or per person. And so we can do that. If we go here, click on options, uh, we can see we're still mapping emissions, but it says divided by. At the moment it's not divided by anything, but I can say divided by population and that might be a lot more meaningful uh, statistic for me to look at. The rest of this is stuff we've seen before. And so if I click OK, I'm done. That paints a different picture, doesn't it? Uh, of which provinces that have the highest emissions per person and which have the lowest emissions per person. So for all kinds of statistics, it's often useful to do that divided by step.